Hello, fabulous superstar Libra. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of February 2020. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. And it is going to be right around the ninth of the month that we will have this month's full moon. Now that full moon will be taking place in a very social part of your sky. It is speaking in harmony with Mars as well. And that does suggest fun and energy and excitement playing out as you embark in social or group situations. So whether it is uh, within a, a friendship circle or perhaps just with one or two closer friends or whether it is a professional endeavor that involves working together in groups, these are the types of things that are highlighted at a time like this. Now, I would say if it is a professional endeavor, this can be a time of culmination. So whether it is that you're completing a project, a joint project, or whether it is that you're coming to a deeper understanding as to the work that you're doing and why it is that it matters, not only to you, but to the other people who are involved, well, these are the types of things that can come into focus at this time. One thing is for sure, when you have a full moon in this part of the sky, it is not about you being on your own. <laughs> and I would say that there are gonna be a lot of people who want to enjoy your company in some way. And if it is a friendship thing, well, friendship things can be really fun. In fact, when we have Mars aligned in supreme harmony with a full moon like this, well, it looks like an especially uh, boisterous time, a time filled with joy, filled with conversation as well for you, the kind that helps you to feel truly connected to others. As we navigate later into the month, right around the 23rd is when we will have this month's new moon. Now, this new moon is taking place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with your daily life. So your workplace, the people who surround you there, the type of work you're doing. And also, this has to do with your habits, in particular, your health-related habits, how well you are utilizing your day to feel the best that you can. Well, this new moon is speaking in harmony with Uranus and in harmony with Mars as well. That tells me that there's a lot of energy at this time. There may be things changing very quickly, but it feels like it's changing fortunately as well. Now, yes, there is lucky energy here, but it's the kind of luck where you have to support it with action, where you realize there's something you could do to improve your circumstances and you do it and the payoff is there. And so if it feels like you're being asked to take steps to fortify your place in the workplace or to take more initiative on a project, perhaps it feels as if there's new clients and customers showing up for you at this time, they will end up being fortunate contacts to have. These are essentially lucky breaks, but they do involve you taking ownership for them, saying that you want them and taking action to support the opportunity that could present itself to you very quickly. But here's something to keep in mind. We do have Mercury going retrograde in this part of the sky just a week earlier. And so a more likely scenario is opportunity, clients, customers coming back around where it comes to the work that you do and within the workplace. Projects that you kind of put to the side or hadn't been thinking so much about, now they come back around for you to get another look, to have another try, or to see if it is that there's some way, some angle that you can use to actually make this project a success. It is going to involve some finesse, I have to say, because where it is that it feels like something is brand new, that's where you do want to be a little bit careful, but where it is that you're having another look or it's the same opportunity coming back around, those can actually be better than they were the first time around. So it does involve you being honest with yourself. Is this something new? Is it not? And if it is something new, how is it that you could perhaps approach it with a spirit of some experimentation before you commit, if that's even possible? Now, as I said, health matters are covered here as well, how well you take care of you. So it's health that is rooted in your habits, and there may be some positive changes that are taking place on that front at this time. Where it is that you are revisiting a change that perhaps you made before, but then you kind of let slack, and now you're picking it up again, those have the best opportunities uh, to reap rewards, and in some cases, 
very quick rewards. You'll see the benefit of embracing some new habit right away, especially where it is that you are picking up a habit again. Now, where it comes to matters of love, it is gonna be right around the sixth of the month that Venus will move into your opposite sign. And as Venus steps into your opposite sign, this is going to indicate uh, about a month going forward of truly lovely love-related energies. Now, with Venus in your opposite sign, what tends to happen if you're open to meeting someone new? Well, it becomes that much more likely that you could attract somebody into your life with real long-term potential. There's also a sense now that the people you are attracting into your life are especially kind or especially generous towards you in some way. And if it is that you're just starting to date somebody, well, this can be a lovely time as well where you're enjoying their company that much more or you can feel them being that much more generous and kind towards you. You start to envision them as part of a more permanent uh, picture for your future. And for those of you in an established bond, I do really like Venus in your opposite sign because it indicates a time when you are feeling that much more like things are flowing easy with your partner, that your partner is able to be more present with you, more kind with you, more generous with you. Even if they already are like that, it can be notable how uh, sweet they may end up being at this time. Now there is something to take into consideration at this time. It is Venus that is your ruling planet as well. Wherever your ruling planet goes, so goes Two, your own focus on what matters to you, where it is that you're finding yourself that much more. And for you, that is going to be within partnerships, within love, within meeting new people. That is gonna take on greater importance to you now and moving forward. Now it is towards the end of the month that Venus will begin making some challenging alignments, mainly to Pluto before the month is even over. And that does suggest sort of a, a moment of intensity, a moment of truth that helps you to see where you are in love and why, that helps you to look at this other person that either you're interested in or you're aligned with that much more deeply in the hopes of coming to a new sense of honesty with each other. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there's a lot here, but I gotta say, I absolutely love the fact that Venus is moving into your opposite sign. It means people of all kinds are gonna be especially supportive to you now. Business alliances, professional partnerships, and yes, romantic partnerships as well. They just feel easier. Venus in your opposite sign also speaks to how it may feel as if other people are able to facilitate greater self-awareness or greater connection to the things that matter to you most and matter to you first. And that may end up being actually the greatest gift that other people can imbue you with now. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.